got to listen to your gut. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Brown Bagging It with Maximum Beverage. I'm your host, Matt Whitney, and this is episode 71. Again, bringing you inside the bottle to find out who's bringing you value and who isn't. And I think that last episode, episode 70, we found some tremendous values, some wines that are uh, over delivering. That's the key, right? So uh, let's get into today's wine. I don't know if you can see this over here. I got my whiskey barrel going. A couple uh, barrel picks that we got from Four Roses and Garrison Brothers. Any whiskey fans, hit us up. Got some awesome stuff in the store right now. Um, okay, into this wine. There we go. Boom. So 71, one wine today. Looks like an unfiltered red of some sort. Nice nose, presence of oak. Tons of raspberry, a little mountain blueberry. I'm getting a little bit of that pininess that I get from Zinn, but it's not overpowering. This is a red blend, just based off the nose. A little mocha, cocoa on the on the on the back end of the nose there. It's all nose. I like the nose. Nice tannins on that wine. It's definitely uh, got some structure to it. Good long finish. Really uh, crossed up here. Um, some kind of herbaceous notes on the back there. A little bit of like uh, not pep not pepper, but. I don't know if it's like a little sage or something on the back. Shoot. Getting like a little like mincemeat pie kind of thing going on there. Or like a little lamb with a little mint jelly action. Weird combination. I kind of like it. I'm gonna say it's a red blend. I'm leaning two areas and they're completely on different sides of the world. Um, first off, this might be, actually, this might just be straight up Australia. Um, you know what? I was gonna go with like Sonoma Red Blend because it's got some of that going on, but on the finish, I'm getting like this, like presence of Australia, the way it finishes on the back. And I'm gonna say it's a, uh, might be a little cab. Say so wine's, wine's about 30 bucks, 27. Say 27 bucks, it's very solid. Um, I like score-wise, I'm gonna say, uh, this is definitely in the nines. Um, I'm gonna give it a straight nine out of 10, I like it. It's pretty tasty, I could definitely drink this with some food. Um, first when I got in the nose, I'm like, God, is it Zin? It's not Zin. Um, you know, even like, first off, it could be like a big Pinot, but it wasn't. Australian Cab? Bucks? No way. It's gotta be Sonoma. Go Sonoma. I'm unsure of myself right now. This is not good. Sonoma. It's got some little bit of cab in there, maybe Zin. Kind of red blend. 28 bucks. It is a red blend. It's Napa, $33.99, the, the NV12 Cane Cuvée, Merlot, Cab. Gotta listen to your gut. I was thinking it could be Australian Cab. It had a little bit of that going on. There's definitely Cab in there. I threw, threw, threw cabins in, it's actually Merlot 50, Cab 32, Cab Franc 10, Petit Ferdot 4, Malbec 4. Um, well done. I'm not, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know anything about um, the guys at Kane um, Vineyard, but they produce some really solid wines. Uh, this is, I, I think, is this just Kane Cuvée or is there still another Kane Cuvée or is this a different one? Kane Cuvée is Kane Cuvée, there's not, they're not vintage. Yeah, 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 so there's, so, so there's, what are they saying, there's 12 vintages in this, NV12? Non-vintage 12? Oh, this is the, 
they changed the label. This used to be just be Cane Cuvée. Now they're saying this is the 2012 release of the non-vintage uh, Cane Cuvée. They, mul they blend multi multiple vintages in. Uh, retail price in this is 34 bucks. Solid. I'm not going crazy over it. Um, but if you like uh, those kind of red blends in the $35 range, nine, nine out of 10, solid score. Um, it put me on the, on, the, on the fence on a buy or not. Um, yeah, for that kind of money, probably find you something at 25 bucks that maybe drinks a little bit better, but solid one. Can't hate on it too bad. Um, Napa, it's Napa, so you're just, you know, anything put Napa on, you're just gonna overpay. So Sonoma, which is what I thought it was, probably would be like 28 bucks, 26 bucks, 27 bucks. So, um, listen, come by the store, check out the whiskey selection we got going on, Farmington, West Hartford, and subscribe to this, please. And you know what? If you're on Facebook and you're watching this, give it a share, um, because that'd be awesome. And I would really appreciate that. Peace. Thank you.